it won't be long for the he gets shut down. Right. It won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in three months. Here Grand opening. Grand closing. Uh, so here we go. City in crisis. Meanwhile, the search is on for a man connected to several violent crimes across Baltimore, including two homicides. Fox 45's Keith Daniels has more on what some are calling him and where that investigation stands. Well, the deadly violence broke out behind these doors, and tonight, the search for the shooter, a suspect some are calling the casual cigarette killer. Take a good look at these photos. Baltimore police say they need help identifying and locating this man. Investigators are calling him a... Think about it, man. It, they're having trouble finding this guy. Like, these are the these are clear pictures. Like, it should be yeah. easy to find this guy. Right. You know, I was thinking about that recently, right? I Like, okay, say I committed a crazy-ass crime like this, and my picture of this was all over the news, I will be a nervous wreck, man. There would be no way I could hide. I'm telling you, man. This guy, though, he, he probably chilling, man. He, he like, man, you know, he know the code, man. Niggas, niggas ain't gonna snitch, man. He may get caught, you know, with body, you know, apprehension from the apprehension team or something like that. But he, he gonna make the cops work for this one. Yeah, but this is this is crazy, man. He, he got the cigarette in his mouth. He cool as a cucumber, just murdering people in the gas station on camera. That's cool a cool name, cucumber. though. Yeah, casual cigarette killer. I like it. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Wow. This, this is the type of shit that give uh, some people, you know, it's the lore, bro, the status. I'm right, out, here, I'm out here cooking niggas with smoking right. on the fucking Lucy and shit. You know these hood rats love him. He probably brought one of his black out, black out right now. Let's be real. These bitches love this stupid shit, bro. Hey, I wonder how many kids I, you got. I wonder how many, how many kids you think this motherfucker got? Three? Well, I'd say four. Four. I cook, I cook cooked that nigga, bro. And then I sparked it. Then I sparked the pour it up right after that shit, bro. <laughs> cook the shit out that nigga. Baltimore police say they need help identifying and locating this man. Investigators are calling him a person of interest in connection with two homicides and one non-fatal shooting that happened within hours of each other, June 2nd. Hey, hey, how you doing? One of those homicides just before 4 o'clock that morning at the Exxon gas station on West Mulberry Street near North Green Street. A man shot several times, dead. The suspect caught on camera. Can I get 32 on 7? The man seen walking with a gun in one hand and with what looks like a cigarette or something else hanging from his mouth. That image to one of the clerks seems very casual for a suspected killer on a mission. <laughs> he was so cool. He what? He, he looked so cool. Cool. He looked like that. He looked so casual, like smoking cigarette and shooting on guy. Yeah. The clerk, who does not want to be identified, looking at photos of the suspect, including this one, where the man is seen pointing a gun, aiming at the victim, never dropping what's hanging from his mouth before killing a man. We never understand like what happened. First, the first they were talking, and after that, it's gonna happen here. At first, he was talking to a man. Yeah. And then what? And then the, he shot him. Police say after that shooting, at about nine that morning, a man was approached in the area of Garrison Boulevard and Liberty Heights. He turned, walked away, then heard a gunshot, then realized he'd been hit, but survived. Then later, 5 p.m., another man, gunned down, later at the hospital, pronounced dead. Three shootings, two of them fatal. One person of interest. Look at all, look at all these niggas hanging out at the gas station. <laughs> Bro. Why the fuck would you... Yo, if you yeah. see this and you still come yeah. here... Yeah, like, you deserve you deserve right. What the fuck? Yeah, like, I, I would have to be on E. Like, my shit would have to be, right. like, and spotter even then, And even then, Chief. Yeah. Fuck that, man. Because here's the thing. I lived next to a gas station like that. 
where it was cool and then it turned real bad. And and the thing that happens is that the people from my building started telling me they were getting robbed over there. But I would go over there and I wouldn't have no problems. I wouldn't have no problems. I'd never thought nothing of it. But then I talked to my neighbors and they were like, yeah, man, God just robbed me over there at the gas station. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, I, but you know, I love for everybody listening, yet fucking again, the consistency in behavior. We always see these dudes hanging out like this in front of these places. Always. Yeah. Tell me not. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Um, I think they don't have a place to live and they like selling drugs. Yeah, and they hang like their office. Well, this is from from what I, you know, experienced in my days, you know, being a son, man, this is more like a, their office. This is more like their, like this area, this may be where the most traffic is. So panhandlers, because, you know, because you got young pan, son man panhandlers in their late 20s with Jordans on and Gucci belts on panhandlers. So if you're a pan, you're a big, hey, 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 big man. Um, um, if when when you come out, man, if you can let me hold something, I appreciate it, man. Or you know what I'm saying, hey, man, hey, big man. I don't mean to bother you, man, but um, you know what I'm saying. If, if, if you got a couple dollars, yeah, if you spare a couple dollars, man. I always tell them, man, I got, I'm using a card. I mean, I'm using a card, bro. Bro, a young bro, I used to be a uh, a young boy on my old block, bro. He used to always come around, he used to play the game and shit. This nigga used to be like, Yeah, I'm about to go get some bread. And I ain't I never asked you what the fuck he was doing, but I remember one time I went to the uh to the fucking gas station, go get me a roll up. I see this nigga over there fucking begging niggas for bread. Yeah, man, that's how it be, man. Some neighborhoods like the neighborhood that I lived in, H and H, we had stores up and down, so we could hang out in front of the Crown Chicken or in front of the Family Liquor Store or whatever, or in front of Majors or in front of H Street Connection. But some neighborhoods they don't have that. The only place where they have where there's traffic is a gas station. So the the local Sunmen hang out there. It's an of interest. At the Exxon, the security guard, who was not there that morning, it seemed like a person to me that had no care in the world, commenting on the suspect's photo and the deadly shooting that happened at the gas station. Because a gas station should, should be a, a safe haven. <laughs> That's not <laughs> this is security guard. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. Bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy. You know, he got a record. Yeah. Man, Damn. hey, good for him, man. He's trying, at least he's trying, right? I gotta give him some credit. Yeah, give him props, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, he is trying. Salute to my man. Um, oh, salute to Palmer Henderson, man. Shout out to Palmer Henderson. Salute to um, my man Darren. He says, check out the Crippin graduate doing the splits. Ah, Crippin graduate doing splits. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's what I think. Because this is this is a place of business. You're supposed to come here, get gas, snacks, whatever, and go about your business. This, no. Well, if you recognize the man in those images, you're urged to call police. Remember, you can remain anonymous by calling. Metro Crime Stoppers, the number on your screen. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Wow. And think about it, I as he's out there doing what he does, you got these gliders, these pigs working around the clock with the purpose of coming in contact with this guy to apprehend him alive. Fucking alive, dude, risking their fucking life. People, yeah, people it, it, take that apparatus for granted. Yeah, definitely. And and then if anything happens to this guy, like right. there's gonna be problems, man. There's gonna be oh, no. people to bang and enter. Like even if they see all this stuff, somebody's family, community leaders, 
Somebody's gonna come out. We demand answers. Right. Think, I think, need the shot. Th- think about this one. I that song word with the cigarette, right? He has a potential to what if and when he gets caught alive, right? If he doesn't get smoked by one of his ops, right? If and when he gets caught on, he has the potential to one day be one of these dudes that mentors kids. You know, like one of these oh, yeah. don't be like, think about it, and, and parents are going to 